So here we go as part of the painting piece. And what we need to do if we're painting balsa is uh, we need to treat it and seal it before we paint it. So the, there's two parts to this. I did a bunch of research, figured some things out from online. And, um, you know, in order to paint balsa first, you're going to need to uh, prime it. But before priming it, a recommendation that um, seems to have worked out, I've tried it a couple of times and it, um, it uh, works out quite well, is to take a little bit of filler, wood filler here, um, and mix it with some water, and then basically sort of pre-paint the, the balsa that you're planning to later on paint. It creates a, a smoother finish uh, for the balsa. One of the things about painting with balsa is it's so porous that, that the paint sort of soaks through and, um, and it, it, it's hard to get a, a good finish. So first we create a base of, of wood filler, then we'll prime it, and then we'll paint it. So this is the first step of that. So what we'll do, we just take a little bit of um, the wood filler that you can see. It still looks pink. It looks pink till it, it's, um, till it cures. Drop a little bit of water in there with the paintbrush. And then we're going to mix that until we end up with... Now this time we're going to end up with a little bit of a... Um, more of a, a, a liquid um, kind of sludge of the wood filler than we did last time when we did the wheels. This is this is going to be a, basically a finer finish because really all we're trying to do now is a sort of uh, uh, fill in the, the the grain on the on the balsa wood. That's really the goal here. It's, well, there's two things. One is to sort of fill in the grain, and the other one is to, to sort of create a base for painting. So, so it's a kind of a two-part thing. One of the tricks with it is, you know, I learned this, that don't just pour water in there. You'll, you'll end up with way too much. It ends up being um, too watery if you just pour water in. And the second thing that we're going to have to do to make sure that we get with this is because what happens once you paint it is um, balsa reacts to water and it'll start to, to twist and warp. What we need to do, we're going to actually cover, we're actually going to do both sides um, and then with this wax paper, this is wax paper that I'm doing so it doesn't stick, um, then we're going to cover the wax paper over both sides and uh, weigh it down so that it, uh, so that it actually has opportunity to dry. It's almost wet enough, I think. So it has the opportunity to dry flat. That's what we need. So, and, and the same thing will happen when we paint. We have to make sure that we get um, that this what we're doing here doesn't create a a warped flying surface because in the goal, of course, is to create a flying model here. And so we need to basically make sure that we end up with that. So I think that's that's about runny enough. You know, I can add more water if I need to later. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm really I'm just going to paint that on and remembering that of course we can sand later so um, you know perfection is not the goal here the goal is coverage I'm going to get the, the whole thing covered in that wood filler this is the elevator piece that I just cut out this is the elevator um, with those uh, control surfaces on the back and again the whole goal here is to end up with wood filler basically filling in the the grain on the balsa wood and I can already feel um, I don't know if you can see it but it's not really that obvious but you can already feel the, the wood starting to bend Probably you can see that if you look at it like there, it's actually got, got a bit of a bow in it. And we're going to get it over to the other side right away. And we're going to do the other side because um, effectively they're going to counterbalance each other. Putting it on the first side is causing it to bow this way. Putting it on this side will cause it to bow that way. Um, hopefully we end up with um, a fairly even amount of pressure on the wood to bow. And then what we'll do is... 
weigh it down. Now I notice um, what's going on here as I liberally put on the um, on the uh, the wood filler here is that I'm I'm getting some of the filler into some of the slots that are needed to sort of click things together. There's two there's two slots in here that um, is where the rudder clicks into the top of the elevator. So I'm going to have to make sure that I clean those out before I set it to dry. You can always clean it out later technically, but it's going to be just a lot easier if I if I don't do that. So that's that's really rough. Um, but that's what we need. We can sand off the uh, the edges later. I'm just going to scrape it off just a touch. A little bit of excess there. And clear out those two slots in there. Which is the parts where the elevator needs to go in. Pop it out the other way around. Do the same thing. Just scrape off a little, a little excess there, clear off the slots. And there's actually three slots there. There's one for the elevator and there's one which is the, the little sideways slot, which is where the, um, where the, uh, the elevator itself connects to the main fuselage. So there we go. I'm just trying to get this fairly clean so that should start to dry and what I'm going to do now is just get a little bit more water in here and do the the rudder as well at the same time so basically cover the rudders fairly completely with that uh, wood watered down thinned wood filler Basically, give us a smooth painting surface for the rudder and the elevator. So, in this case, it's the rudder. That basically covers up all of the little uh, wood grain that will show through if we painted it now. And I'm just going to do the other side and then I'll come back and clear off the excess with the scraper. So, I'm paint the Now I've seen some other techniques for finishing off balsa, one that Cliff Harvey uses that I have to figure out from his video, uh, from his videos where he seems to use tissue paper over um, over the balsa and it, it looks really sharp so I'm, I'm probably going to look at figuring that one out too in this case, um, you know, I do want to paint it, uh, uh, it just seems like it would, would give us that look that we want. So there we go, that's that's covered. I'm going to basically just clear off any excess here. And it basically creates a nice smooth finish. And uh, make sure we've got our slot clear. Same thing on the other side. Clear off any excess. Give us a nice smooth finish. And then I'll pop it over here. And clear uh, off the bit of excess in there. And we'll basically fold fold the the wax paper over and because it's wax paper it's not going to stick and we'll lay it down. That should work. There we go. So here we are ready to paint and one thing that I've just done uh, getting the prep stuff ready before I um, got started is, um, is I've done a little bit of masking with some modeling masking tape to just mask out the areas where I'm going to paint on the fuselage. So it's really just going to be the front part near the cockpit 
and then around here. The other parts don't need to be masked at this point, just for the uh, the primer. There's going to be primer everywhere. And later on, I'm going to have to mask on the um, on the tail feathers to get the um, the the flaps and those things done. But for the for now, we'll be fine. And just to point out um, this, which is my little test piece. So what I did before I got here was I actually tested. I did the um, you know, finish with the primer, um, and then, uh, sorry, finish with the with the wood filler, then then the primer, and then I painted it using several different um, reds just to get the one that I wanted. And this one um, that I've settled on it here. Um, so there's this one, this one, and this one. Basically, um, there was a, a brick red which I thought seemed a little too dark, and a, a straight red which was just too bright. And this one is called Holiday Red. Um, and so this is the one I'm going to use later on for the painting. So here we are ready to prime. I'm going to start with the cowling because it's the simplest one. I'll do that. Um, and really, it's there's nothing special about this. Um, just want a nice, smooth coat of primer, covering everything on the outside of the cowling that we're going to be end up painting red. The cowling is going to be red, just like the, the rest of the front of the plane. And again, you know, this is reasonably realistic. Uh, there were apparently some sop widths back in the day where the front of the plane was painted red. I've seen uh, somewhere there was, there was the silver, so basically the plane metal uh, was there and it hadn't been painted, but there's definitely some that were, definitely the cowling was red, that, that was a thing. So I think that's going to look pretty nice when we paint this red. So let's just get that. And also one thing I learned from my practice um, over here, and I won't show you all the details of that, but I will be painting twice, uh, priming twice. The primer, um, uh, because the, I guess because the, the balsa is so um, porous, it really soaks up the paint and this is the reason why we need to prime it and uh, start with the, the wood filler and the, do the priming. Um, it's, it's going to need two coats of primer before it's ready to take a coat of paint. So I will be doing two coats of primer before I show you the, uh, the painting piece. And I won't video that. It's really nothing special about it, just that I'll be doing it twice. So that's the, that's the cowling done. I'll do the wheels next and the only trick with the wheels of, is, is actually not getting it all over my fingers otherwise it's actually pretty straightforward uh, just nice and smooth the paints going on smoothly means the wood filler has done its job there's not much showing in through in terms of um, in terms of uh, grain and uh, go all the way around the edges here that's actually going to be covered by the tires in the end, but that groove just uh, just prime it a little bit there. Luckily, it's a water-based paint, so if I do get a little bit on my fingers, it really doesn't matter. Go here. It's going all the way around. This will actually be on the back side of the wheel anyway, with a the brush, brushing is. So the main thing with the brushing is really to make sure not to get anything in the middle where um, the axle will eventually be going through so that we get a nice clean smooth roll on our wheel so that's that's that one pretty much done. And we'll do the other one. I almost feel like I could edit this piece out because it's um, fairly simple and straightforward once you've seen me paint the first piece. It's really nothing special about the rest. Um, and it's fairly simple. 
of course you can always forward the video to the part that matters to you so I don't feel too guilty about filming stuff and making you sit through it because well, you don't have to um, and I, I, I probably encourage you to do that